Hey guys, welcome back to Junk to Style. I'm going to show you how to make a really cool flapper costume with stuff that's already in your closet. As you can see, I've already pulled out some stuff and I just want to give you some ideas of what you can use in your closet. Um, I have a tunic. It's like one of those long tops that were in style a couple years ago that I held on to. Um, um, and then I have a tank top, which you can find anywhere for a really cheap. And then I am using one of these gold clubbing tops that I've had for a while and haven't worn. And I'm going to use them as my uh, as my frill. You can use the same material if you want, or you can use another you know fun material. It's up to you. So let's get started. So what I want to do is use the tank top as the top part of the dress, and then I want to use the the bottom part of this tunic for the bottom part and make a cute dress and then I'm going to make frills out of these and sew them on. Um, you can hand sew them or you can machine sew them and I'm going to show you. Okay, so we're going to start with the tank top and I'm going to eye it. It's a good idea to use a measuring tape um, for this project. You also need a good pair of scissors, a ruler, and I have Taylor's chalk. You can find this for a really cheap at a craft or a fabric store or you can use a uh, colored pencil or a regular pencil, it's up to you. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to lay it down. I've marked it in my eye. I'm going to take the ruler and draw a straight line across. You want to use a ruler because you don't want to make any crooked lines. You don't want it to be shorter on the left or, you know, jagged. And I'm going to cut through both sides of the top with my scissors. Alright, now that we've got this part cut out, we're going to cut out the bottom part of the tunic. Um, if you don't have a tunic, uh, you can always use a t-shirt, a big uh, black t-shirt. You can buy it or you can find one around your house. Okay, now that I've got my two pieces, I've got the skirt and I've got the tank top. I'm going to take the skirt, flip it inside out. You're going to leave the tank top right side out, and you're going to put the tank top inside the skirt and you pin it together. Make sure to get your pin cushion. I'm going to take one side seam, there's the outside part, and I'm going to match it to the outside part of the skirt. And I'm going to pin it there. I'm going to put the tank top inside the skirt. I'm going to grab the other side seam on the other side and pin those together. And you want to be consistent with the way you pin it, so I'm pinning it on the inside, so I pin it on the inside here. If you pin it on the outside, make sure you keep it consistent around when you're stitching it. Okay. Now you'll see the tank top is obviously shorter in width than the top, and you're going to sure it. You're going to guesstimate the middle of the tank top, the middle of the skirt. You can do it by doing this. Grab the two, match, match them up together, pin it, and then if you have a lot, like for instance, I want to make sure, if you can grab it and match it, then you'll be able to sew it fine. I'm just going to match up the middle of the other side with the back side. We matched up the front side. And pin it on the inside because I'll be sewing the inside part. Okay, now we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew these together. Um, and then we're going to get on to our next step. Okay, we're at the machine now. Hi! Um, and we're going to sew this up. And I've got a zigzag stitch because we are using stretch material. So, uh, Zigzag stitch will help you keep that <coughs> keep that stretch. If you use a straight stitch, it won't it won't stretch, and you won't be able to fit into it. I'm using a slightly wider zigzag um, with the normal normal length. Okay. okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm holding on to the next pin, and because these two are different lengths. I'm going to hold it tight and grab the middle and hold it so that it just automatically uh, matches up and shares itself.
Okay, now that we've sewed the item, we're going to flip it inside out and take a look at our beautiful creation. There we have a dress. Yay! Now what we're going to do is stitch on the frills part. Okay, now I said earlier I was using this gold material because I thought it would add a really cool twist to it. You can use the black or you can use, um, if you find like frill, a frill trim at a fabric store for cheap, you know, at a discount sale. That works too. Um, I am going to deconstruct this. I'm just going to cut it up and then we're going to make the frills. Okay, now that we've cut this shirt open, lay this down flat and see exactly how much material I am working with. Um, you see we've got a good amount, maybe not a whole lot, but definitely enough to work with. Now, you're going to take your dress and you're going to measure it, um, just so you know how much of this you'll actually need and how long to make each strip. Now I'm going to make each strip about 22 inches thick. So what you're going to do is we're going to be cutting strips of the fabric and we're going to cut them into fringes. We're going to fold them and, and stitch them along the zigzag line so that we don't have to cut it and sew it and cut it and sew it if you know what I mean. If not, you know, whatever, just follow my lead. Okay, so I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to measure the length. I'd like it to start right here, right where the tank top starts. I'm going to measure along here. And that's about 10 inches on the front. And go along the back, another 10 inches. So 20 inches is going to be the first piece. So first strip, 20 inches. Now I'm going to use my chalk to mark just so I can keep track of how far down I'm going so that the widths don't start overlapping with each other. So I'm just going to lightly draw here. And then I'm going to use my marker because this is actually two inches thick. And I'm going to mark the next line. 